What's good, Fight Fans? It's your boy Timmy's the best, and I'm back with another episode of Punch Drunk. Four, one, two. And last night was an epic fucking performance from Jerome Boots. And it's as he has a massive second round stoppage of Recustio Clayton, who looks scared to death. <laughs> but if you like content like this, hit that like, comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe. Now let's get into it. Superstar boxer Jerome Boots and this nigga got Custody o. Clayton out of there by the second round of last night's fight. Dude looked so scared like he didn't even want to be in the ring. Dude looked like he was there basically just for a paycheck. It was a very disappointing performance from that man. But again, Jerome Boots and this was sticking. That jab, he couldn't get around it at all. Jab was stiff. It was coming. It was, it was accurate. And dude just couldn't do nothing with it. And then dude finally made that mistake and got hit with that overhand right. Uh, and and, you, and the, you know, the cool thing about the whole situation is, is that you can hear his dad tell him on the corner, hit him with the one two and to come with that bang over right and down overhand that 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 art that down swinging overhand right and you're gonna get this dude out of here what did boots come out and do right after his pops told him he's a great he listens very well he's got a great ring IQ and he walked out there and said boom boom pow fight over it was great it was epic and you know now he, he pretty much solidified and the first thing he did after he dropped clayton yo was look right at errol spence who was sitting in the front row yeah the big fish was there and you know what that you know what that man said at the end of the fight it's time to go fishing i know the big fish is in the building but well, the shark is hungry baby yeah boots that's what we want to see man like comment and subscribe he put on a masterful performance dude like dude maybe through I think Clayton threw maybe 10 punches the whole fight. Like, he just could not get around Boots' jab at all, man. It was it was fun to watch, man. I was, I was a little disappointed because it ended so early. But if you've seen Boots' last fucking fight, man, DeLorme didn't even get... He lasted, what, two minutes into the first round? If that? You know what I mean? Like, Boots is that dude, man. Put some respect on Boots' name. Don't sit here and don't say, uh, Clayton was a no-name guy. That's what the casual was going to say. Oh, he was a no-name guy. Nobody knew him. And right after the fight, look, Errol Spence did in his ass and said what's up let's get it nigga the sharks hungry i want that belt but we all know in reality after uh, it's gonna be very unlikely that we see boots in his first errol spence because it's a very high possibility that after errol fight uh terrence crawford he's more win or lose i think he's gonna move up you know what i mean he might fight boots but i don't see that happening i think we got a better chance of seeing terrence crawford versus gerard in this before we see Errol Spence versus Jerron Ennis, in my opinion, man. But shout out to Boots Ennis. Great performance yesterday. You solidified why you're the most feared fighter in the welterweight division. And I am excited to see you get your title shot. Oh, and another thing. 19 consecutive knockout, baby. That's greatness. Like, comment, and subscribe. But it's Punch Drunk 412. I'm Timmy's the best. More coming soon.